In this video, we are going to execute a Sextante algorithm. I have selected the slope algorithm because it's a very simple one and everyone understands what the slope means. I'm going to execute this algorithm to show you how to set up the parameters needed to execute any algorithm in Sextante. Here is the detail elevation model that I have loaded. I need it because to calculate the slope, I need a raster layer, a detail elevation model in this case. I double click on slope, the name of the algorithm that I want to execute, and I will see a dialog like this one. This is typical Sextante dialog. When I want to execute an algorithm and I double click on the name of an algorithm, I'm always going to see something like this. On the left hand side, of this parameter dialog, I will see the names of all the parameters that I have to set up. And on the right hand side, I will see the values that are given to those parameters. In this case, I just have to enter the elevation. And here I have a list of all the available layers, of all the available raster layers that I have loaded. In this case, it's just one. Then I have two options, method and units. And for each of them, for each one of them, I have a list and I select the units and the method that I want to use. And finally, I have the outputs. The output here is just one raster layer called slope. We will see in a different video how to set up the output channels because that's a more complex thing and we will see in detail in a different video. There's a second tab, also we will uh, talk about that one in a different video, it's called the output region. So what you have to know about the parameters uh, tab, the only thing that you have to know is that you're going to find always there's a structure, left hand side the name of the parameters, right hand side the value of the parameters, and you have to select them. These parameters dialogs are created on the fly uh, by Sextante from the information uh, stored in the algorithm. And that's the reason why they all have the same appearance. Here in the lower part, in case it's not the first time you have executed this algorithm, you will see uh, sets of parameters using previous previous executions of these uh, algorithms. And using this button here, you can retrieve those parameters. You see how they change as I click here. This changes. So I just I'm using now the parameters that I used in one of these previous uh, times that I executed that I ran this same algorithm. 